Howdy folks, welcome back. So now that we can save our data, doesn't really do us much good unless we can actually load that data as well. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my third person game mode. And I'm going to create another custom event just like we did the save game, but this is going to be load game. Now it's going to need that same save slot or integer input, but this will be load slot so when we're loading a game just like when we're saving it we want to see if the save game slot exists so does save game exist I'm going to connect that load slot to the slot name back this up a little bit because I want to promote that to a variable called load slot I'll plug that in just like that and then I'm gonna hook a branch and if it's true then we don't want to we don't want to do anything on the false because if we're trying to load a slot that doesn't exist then we don't want it to try to run an error but if it does then we want to we can grab this part from our save system the load game from slot and cast to the save so I'm going to control, control C and control V this, hook it to the true, and then move all this way down out of the way. Because this one is going to look a bit like this one after it's all said and done. <laughs> so I'm going to hook my load slot to my load game from slot name. And then just for, just to show you, I'm going to get my gold variable out of here grab my player reference and I want to set my gold to that so now we need an actual widget to display so I'm just gonna duplicate my save screen duplicate that call it load screen underscore W because I really like the way that layout turned out it actually looked pretty nice <clears throat> now instead of it saying save slot one I'm gonna make it say load slot one and same on the other ones load load so now on its clicked event in here we don't want to be calling our save game function we want to call our load game function and I'm gonna set the slot to be one just like we had it in the other one we can leave all that just like it is move this down a little bit so now we need a way to actually get this on screen so in the player blueprint just to show you that it's whoa that it's all working I'm gonna add a F key function am I using the F anywhere else I don't think so. I'm going to add a flip flop node real quick. And on the A, I'm going to create a widget that'll be my load screen. <clears throat> add to viewport. And then on the B, I'm going to remove from parent. Just hook that just like that. So now I got 500 gold. How much was on my save point? 300. So if I open up and I load that data, now I've got 300 gold you can see down in the bottom. But when I started, I had 500. Oop. There we go. And just like that, you can load the data from your slots.
So yeah, so we just duplicated our save screen because I like the way that layout turned out. Call our load game function that runs very similar to our save game function. Except for instead of having to create the save game object and then saving it to the slot, we're just seeing does one already exist? And if so, then we're getting our information from it and transferring it back to the player. It's really that simple. Uh, in the next one, I'll go through the process like I did this one in a separate video. I'll go through the process of setting everything the same way. Um, well, this is a short video. We could let's fix up the HUDs though a little bit. So the save screen, load screen, etc. So one thing I want to do is I'm going to change this text block to say empty slot by default. <clears throat> and for these two on the side, instead of them saying text block, I'm just going to hide them if the slot is empty. So I'm going to select one of them, go down to visibility, I'm going to bind this. And it's going to be does save game exist in slot 1 with a branch, oh, not 1B. Hook that up. If a slave if <laughs> if a save game does exist in this slot, we want it visible. If it doesn't, we want it hidden. So you can just copy and paste the return node, set it to hidden, and then just like that, it'll be all good. So I'm going to set that visibility for the other one as well. Then I'll repeat the process on the other ones. Really, really, you could just grab all this, control C, take it over here, delete that one, paste it up, and then update your slot number to reflect the one that you're checking now. So this one, default to empty slot. Visibility create binding, delete that, control V, then check to see if slot 3 exists. And set that one to the same thing. So now when I run over to it, I have two empty slots, but that one's you know got its information now let's one more quick thing that we can do is if you want to delete that slot let's just add a button real quick right here underneath and I'm just gonna set it to 200 by 50 position it around there block of text delete file and I'm going to put an on clicked event I'm going to grab my does save game exist in slot 1 and if it does then I'll just delete game in slot and the slot being number 1 Now, it won't update while the menu's open, but when I delete it, you see those go away. And then when I come back, the empty slot is gone. The way you can fix that is just grab out that first location, set text, and just set it back to empty slot. Just like that. So now I have nothing, I can save my data, I can delete my file, and if I
buy a bunch of stuff and save. You'll see I got 200 goals here, but I need to quit the game and then come back later. So, but I want to pick up right where I left off, so there's that. Now you, you will notice that I don't have my that the stuff that I bought, but that's because I haven't established. Well, you know what? Let me just show you that real quick. So in the load game function, I will just set my inventory. Get my inventory and just plug it in like that real quick so that you can see so I've got my save stuff let me open my widget load all my info and then now I got my equipment back same thing if I have it equipped and then I run up and I'll overwrite my save real quick and then quit. So you see right now I've got nothing. But if I load my stuff from slot 1. Then it does nothing. What in the world? Oh, because I'm, cause I'm stupid. I didn't hook up the sword info. Uh, I'm a simple man. Tell you what, I'm just gonna pick up a bunch of crap. That'll show you. That'll show y'all what it's what it's doing. So now, when I run over, save real quick, exit and come back, and you'll see I got nothing in my nothing in my pocket. And now all my stuff's back. So just like that, you're late. You're loading. You're saving. All that jazz. Uh, in a side video, I will go through the tedium of all this part, but that way you can see, you can update your widgets appropriately. You can do the same thing in here, and we're loading our data. So I will see y'all in the next little video to go through the tedium. <laughs> see y'all there. Bye.